Today we are going to make this incredible slider only using the free version of Elementor. So you can see here is an image with this beautiful markup text behind. And when you move around your mouse, you can see this animating left and right arrows. So when you click on the right side, the next slide comes in with this nice reveal effect from this top to bottom animation. And when you click on the left side, the previous slide comes with the backward animation. Also, you can see the changing direction of the marquee text when you change the slide. So a lot of things are actually going on here. Now without any further ado, let's see how we can make all of that. Alright, so here the best thing is, we are going to build this advanced slider only using the free version of Elementor. So we don't need Elementor Pro or any other extra plugin. And also if you don't want to watch this full tutorial and only want to get this whole thing as a ready-made template, you can also get this from my template shop. And here as a bonus, you will get both the container and the old section column version. And it's 100% responsive for the tablet, mobile or any other devices. Okay, but if you also don't want the ready-made template, you can also start it from scratch. So here to create it from scratch, let's click on this plus icon and create a new container. And first of all, I want to make it to full width and make its padding to zero. And inside that, we will create two containers. The first one, where we will place all of our these colors and this marquee text. And inside the second one, we will place our image and the other content. So let's add our first container, drag it inside here. Also make it to full width, set its height to 100 VH. Okay, if we open our navigator panel, here we can see our these two containers. Now, for example, if we want to create four slides, for that we need to create four separate containers inside this container. So I just want to copy this and paste it inside here. And here as we copy this, we have also copied this width and height option. Okay, and inside this container, now we will place an heading widget. Let's change this text. And also let's do some style with this. To place it vertically on center, let's go to its parent container and make this justify content to the center. Okay, and here we can see some little padding. Also remove this. And for our this container, I also want to make some background color. Here basically I want to keep all of our these containers one above another. So to achieve that, we need to make sure to keep its position to the absolute. Okay. So right now you can see our this heading widget is a normal heading widget. But when we add our JavaScript code, this will be automatically become an animating repeating text. Right now just keep it like that. So the next thing we want to do, we want to create the front part of this slider where we will place our image and all the other content. So let's go to our this container and I just want to duplicate this. Here I just need this one, not this child container. So delete this. Instead I want to create a fresh new container inside this one and keep it width to box. Just make it to 500 pixel and also give some padding. Now before doing anything, I want to place our this container above this one. So go to its positioning and make it to absolute. And I want to place this inner container at the middle here. So also make the justify content to the center. Perfect. Now inside that, let's place an image. So let's drag an image widget and upload an image. Let's set an height and width. So I want to make it to 100% by 600 pixel. And to avoid any kind of shrinking or stretching, make sure to keep the object fit to cover. Now after that, let's also add some text. So let's drag and text editor widget and change it to the exact same text like this heading. Let's again do some design with this. Here you can see some default cap inside this widget. Don't worry, we will also remove that with our custom code. Now let's just duplicate this text. And here I want to write down the designation. 
and change its style a little bit. Here we can see huge gap between these items. So this gap is basically comes from our this gap option. So make it to zero. Instead, I want to give this gap by using the margin. So at the bottom here, make it to 20. For this one, also make some little bottom margin. Now here, like all these background containers, we also want to place all of our these front containers one above another. So for that, also for our this container, make its position to the absolute. Okay. So the next thing we need to do, we need to add our moving arrows. For that, we need to add an icon widget. Let's drag it to right above this place. And first of all, let's change this icon to this left arrow. Change its color to black and also make its position to the absolute and give it a higher C index like 20. Right now, if we want to create more slides, we just need to duplicate our this container and also this container. But before duplicating, it's always better to check the responsiveness for the tablet and the mobile devices. Because if I duplicate first and then do the responsive work, then we need to do that responsive work again for our duplicated content. Okay, so first let's check it for our tablet device. And here we can see we need to reduce the image size. So I wanna make it to 500 pixel height. And to change the width, we need to go to this container and make the width to 400 pixel. Also, let's reduce this huge font size on the background. Go to here and make it to 200 pixel. Let's go to the mobile. And here we need to reduce this image size furthermore. 380 and the width 280 pixel. Make this heading to 150 pixel. Then here on mobile for our this arrow, I want to just place it at the middle right here because on mobile, I don't want any mouse moving effect. So go to our this icon and first of all, from the top, I want to make it to 50%. And from the left, I always want to keep it right here with this image. So for that, here we need to write down a custom value. Here you need to be very careful about this. You need to write down exactly like this with this space and all the syntax. Okay. And here you can see this 280 pixel. This 280 pixel is related with the container width 280 pixel. So if you edit the container width, you also need to edit this value right here. Now with this one, I also want to add a background color. So make it to white, a semi-transparent color. Make it a rounded corner. So make the border radius to 50% and also add some padding. Okay, right now it's not looking that perfect. We'll also improve its design with our custom code. So here I just want to duplicate this and create our right arrow. So for the second one, I want to change its icon to this one. And to place it on this side, go to its offset values and just copy this and make the orientation to the right. Let's go to here again and just paste this fellow. Perfect. And one thing I also forgot to do, I also need to reduce its font size a little bit. Also for this one. And then also on mobile, I don't want to keep this huge height. So I want to remove the minimum height from all of our these containers. Here make it to zero. Also for this container, zero. And also for this one. Now finally, let's go back to our desktop again. And here you can see our this container is not perfectly aligned on the middle. So we can easily fix this by removing our this top offset value. Okay. Now finally we can duplicate our these containers. And after duplicating, let's also change the content for all of these containers. So we have changed all of our content. And here for our these containers, we have also set different background color for each of them. Now I want to add our code. But before that, I want to add some classes with some of our specific elements. So first go to our this container and let's write down. 
MDWT member slider with this first icon. Let's add the class MDWT member slider left. And with this second icon, let's add the class MDWT member slider right. Then after with this container, let's add MDWT member slider back. And lastly, with our this last container, let's add MDW team member slider front. Now to add our custom code, let's search for an HTML widget and drag it to right here, right above this icon and paste this code snippet. Here you don't need to worry about this code snippet. I will give all the code snippet to my website and also give the code snippet link on my description. So from here we just need to copy and paste that code. Okay, right now if we save this and from our preview, we can see this beautiful animation and everything is also perfectly working. But here at the top, we can see some space. This basically comes from our this container. Here make this gap to zero. And also here at the bottom, we can see at this place, this arrow goes outside of this section. So to avoid this, we need to make sure to keep this overflow to the hidden. Okay, now it's working without any issue. And from the tablet mobile devices, it looks really perfect. So that's how you can make this cool slider on your Elementor website. If you enjoyed this video, then don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you on my next video.